I haven't come up here in a long time. The prices at this place are just horrendous. Uh, I don't really want to show how much money I made. It's embarrassing. Taking a full load in there. I took in some low grade insulated copper wire and they gave me five cents a pound. At the other scrap yard I go to that I show frequently, it's 35 cents a pound, which is seven times more than this place gives. Just for an example. Let's get to it. It's a good scavenging area up here though. That's the main reason I came up here today. I didn't turn the camera on. This place is closing in about 10 minutes. They're gonna close that gate. So I wanna to try to get another load in. Scored a stick of aluminum, some short iron, or long iron, I guess you'd call that. Uh, nice little mat. I put, sometimes I put these like in my storage units. So the short time I'm standing in there, I have a little cushion. You start getting older, you start like standing on them cushions. <laughs> uh, vacuum cleaner cores, some aluminum blinds. I didn't look at this little gem yet. Let's have a look. What's in here? Oh, I thought that was a... <laughs> I thought that was like a tool case. What is it? It's a radio, isn't it? Hold the presses. What is it? A-O-M-A-I-S. Go Junior. Um, I think that's some kind of Bluetooth speaker. I thought it was like a tool kit. <laughs> uh, have a look at that online and then uh, this was not in the same dumpster it's nice little woofer deal <clears throat> Samsung it's a nice little brand uh, Actually, might be a keeper. Um, let's see, I'll make up my mind up here. They might not even take it. It's a lot of plastic. But, uh, anyways. See if my little shortcuts are still here. This one is, well, maybe. Looks like we've got a new uh, little flood creek going through here for some reason. Be a dumpster there. What's up, man? I don't know why. They must have changed the terrain. Something. Something has made a little creek to start going through there. Something somewhere changed. Guys over there. Never mind. Well, 
run out of sunlight. It's daylight savings time. Uh, shouldn't it go the other way? Should we make it get dark at 7.30? 7.15 instead of Job. Some kind of hydraulic hose, steel hose. You know what? I was gonna say I'm not gonna mess with it because it's not brass, but I'm not gonna sit there and chew, chew through the hose because it's steel. But let's see if a magnet sticks to that sucker. It might take the whole thing. Lottie dotty. Actually, a nice little piece of strip. Got some good weight to it.
Watch pooches. I got here, out here earlier. I wasn't thinking about daylight savings time. I haven't even really got to the places I wanted to show you today. Mr. Sparky and Benjamin Franklin, the punctual plumber. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, look at that. Oh boy. All right, well, never mind. I'm gonna get go home, get the flashlight, and come back up. Snatch this stuff up. Let's get stuff in there. I think they're still in the building right now, so much better to come back here in a little bit. looks different doesn't it wasn't there more stuff in there there's some of the wire um, I'm gonna have to look on the video when I'm editing it there was a lot more stuff in here wasn't there dang it <laughs> well I may have waited too long to come back out but if somebody took it why wouldn't they take all of it? That's tough to figure out. Uh, maybe someone came here and they were in the process of taking it and someone came out and told them to leave or something. Um, yeah, or maybe someone just took the electrical boxes. Let's get in there and see what's going on.
Well, nothing of great value, but this is some nice, valuable scrap bits. I'm, like I said earlier, I'm gonna have to look on video while I'm editing. It'll be obvious to the people watching the video, of course, because to you it's only like 10, 10 15 seconds later. <laughs> But uh, I think someone come and got those electrical boxes. If I'm not mistaken, there was a bunch of electrical boxes in here. Those big gray tin metal boxes were filled up with copper wires. And what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I got transformers stuck on my mind. Uh, circuit breakers. Bunch of circuit breakers and stuff in there. So some may have just been after that and left the rest. That's kind of interesting about scavenging and dumpster diving. One one scavenger could be after something totally different than the next scavenger. You know what I mean? That okay. guy. I like all this all this copper and stuff I'll take straight to the scrapyard but someone else might have been after them electrical boxes you know because they're uh, an electrician or they're gonna reuse them or maybe they're after them circuit breakers for some specific reason you know maybe it wasn't even a scrapper you know not all scavengers are scrappers you know see how many times I can say you know look at this brand new you know I don't know what it is, but it's brand new, you know? There's a fair amount of stuff in here, you know? At least they didn't take it all, you know? <laughs> Could you tell I was on a heater when I started taking all these cans? <laughs> They're pretty clean for the most part. Well, shoot. Gonna do it. Take my 25 cents worth of aluminum cans with me. Pay for my gas anyway. Always be sure to clean up your mess if you have a honey hole like this. I suppose if you have a honey hole like this, it would probably be a good idea to clean up other people's messes as well. There wasn't a mess here, but I'm just saying in general, when it comes to honey holes, you don't want to upset anyone that's associated with it. Alrighty then.
tire popper. Yeah. That's where you would expect to find a lug nut. <laughs> Why not? Um, what are we dealing with here? Big old box of food. So folks can see it. Took some pretty good stuff. Let's see if my cats and dogs want to eat that chicken. So this is stuff that uh, someone obviously has intentionally set out here because they want somebody else to have it. And there is actually a difference and levels <laughs> when it comes to food when it's in the dumpster you don't know for sure why it's in there it could be in there for a really bad reason or a thousand reasons you can't think of which should worry you even more but uh once someone has taken the time to clean out their pantry and stack it in here all nice like this and then leave it out along with some of this other stuff Someone, someone's saying that they want someone to have it, you know. But, uh, could take those. It's not worth a whole lot, though. scary <laughs> thought there might have been someone in there for a second what do we have here Kenmore hey that's an older I think yeah an older one. Oh, show. Here we go here. Nice aluminum plates and those guys. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. That's scrap metal too. You can take these scrap metal if you want. Uh, not when the dumpster's laying on top of them. <laughs> That's what you want to see laying in the road. A giant steel spike. What's that, for concrete? 
Is that a concrete doohickey thingy? I'd like to kick that up with the tire. Send that flinging somewhere. I guess that's gonna wrap it up. Nothing super fantastic, but some, some decent stuff. Uh, so in this video, I found some stuff that uh, obviously you could sell on eBay for parts. You may see that in videos. Where I'll scrap a lot of stuff that could be sold for eBay uh, parts on eBay. But uh, I just have so much stuff. I just need to get rid of it. But, uh, I might take a look at selling, say, that metal, original pedal, foot pedal for this thing. I might have a look at selling that on eBay or something, you know. But, uh, I just mainly want to get stuff taken care of. Making YouTube videos definitely helps. So, I put a lot of time into that. But anyways, I sure hope you enjoyed this little session. And as always, thanks for watching. This could be a never ending thing if you lived in a big enough city. You could go all day and all night if you wanted.